T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, main in start, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis to assemble the framework for the science laboratories of tomorrow. Hi, my name is Christian Vogel, and today we're talking about the Space Shuttle. And I'm not really talking about the original rocket design or the new fancy SpaceX ones that can land straight up. I mean this thing, 4.6 million pounds of 20th century engineering marvel. And really the concept is pretty simple, a rocket that can be reused. It was really needed at the time, because at the time you had to basically build an entire new rocket if you wanted to like just move a few pieces of metal into space. But it really just takes more than a used rocket to get to space. Once the rocket is brought back from the previous mission, its heat shields need replaced, among other things. If you don't really know what a heat shield is, which I imagine most of you don't, it's the thing that helps the rocket from not burning up in the atmosphere. A little more on that later. The single shuttle has up to 31,088 of them max. That's a lot of heat shields. Once they get their rocket back, they're not exactly fit for takeoff anytime soon. And the last thing they do to prep the rocket is to fill up the fuel tank. They do this to minimize risk of explosion, because if you're working on the tank while it has fuel in it, if the two things mix, it's going to be bad news. Now it's time for the interesting part. After the shuttle is prepped and ready, it is moved from the place's work to on the launch pad. To move a giant rocket ship, they need to use a mobile launcher platform, or MLB for short. This is the big platform that the rocket stands on and that can like move around. It takes six hours just to go three miles, so it's pretty slow, but it, the rocket weighs 4.6 million pounds, so I wouldn't really expect anything more. Now it's finally clear for takeoff. Once the SRBs or solid rocket boosters ignite, they can't be stopped. And those are the white rockets on the side. They do most of the lifting because the main uh, orbiter, the main part where the crew is at, is saved for the later part of the mission, not the launch. It still helps though. And oh, it is easier to come back, back from space than to get to space because of gravity. So that's why they need these extra rockets to like get up to space because of gravity is weighing us all down. If not, we'd all be in Mars right now. And so then if you see the big brown cylinder, uh, you would maybe think that's a rocket, but like when I was like five, I was surprised to know that wasn't actually a rocket. It's actually a big fuel tank. It's called the ET or external fuel tank, and it actually holds all of the fuel for launch. And yeah, you need a lot more fuel for launch than you do the entire mission because it, again, because of the gravity. And it has foam for insulation to keep the keep the fuel at a certain temperature. So that's what the orange stuff is. And so then once it gets far enough through the sky, the ET and SRBs, the orange thing and the two white rockets, detach from the main section or the orbiter. They do this because the so the rocket doesn't have to carry around dead weight. And you're probably thinking, Christian, you said the whole point was for it to be reusable. Well, you're right. The ET and SRBs fall into the ocean, and then they get retrieved by boats for the next mission, so they can be reused again. All of this helps just the orbiter get into orbit. <laughs> See the name? And once the orbiter is in orbit, which is where like satellites and stuff like are, that are, like still affected by Earth's gravity, but like just like pulled around in orbit, not actually like on the ground. So basically, it's in space. Um, the orbiter can like move around using its normal fuel. It never really went to another planet. It did build using it. It was very like designed to build a space station, so they built the International Space Station using this design of rocket, and that is still being used right as I speak. And now that it's like done in space, it can go back to Earth using the um, 
well, it can go back to Earth using the heat shields, which, as I told you, there's going to be more on it. They need the heat shields because if you try to go through the atmosphere, like, back, you would just burn to a crisp. So you need special, like, heat protective equipment on the outside of your rocket for it to actually come back to space. And once it's through and it's falling, it actually uses its plane shape to glide like a plane down to the runway, as you can see here. I did not know this until I did this project, and I thought it was very neat, because I never really knew what the plane shape was for, but it's for gliding down and landing on the runway. Once it's recovered from the runway, it can be reused for the next mission. Um, I hope you had fun learning about the space shuttle, and go watch some other people's videos. Um, I've heard a lot of them are very good.